It's a nice place you brought us to, my brother. Yes. Lovely, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, makes me miss freezing to death in the mountains. <laughs> yeah. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to more Red Dead Redemption. Yes, I'm okay, Hosea. Hosea, we are here doing this mission with Hosea. Hey, Arthur. Come on! If we're gonna make it to this party, we sure as shit better clean up a little. So we're doing this? Oh yeah. Old friend Dutch van der Linde is finally showing his true colors. Social climbing. <laughs> Old Senor Bronte, that horrendous snake has invited us to the ball, Cinderella. So my suggestion is we go and get you a gown. <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> we are ridiculous. <laughs> Utterly. I ain't never been to a ball in my life. Nor have I, if I am being honest. I used to quite often. There can be fine pickets. Oh, no, 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 no pickpocketing. We are here to make real contact. What kind of contact? Well, I don't know. We'll find what we can. All I know for sure is we are going to a party at the mayor's house, and the guest of honor is the worst crook in town. <laughs> I am sure that we will find so. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, Here we are. Luca, I'm afraid the mayor does not allow guns at official functions after last year's incident. Luca here will take you to Mr. Bronte. I believe he is expecting you. Follow me, gentlemen. Hmm. Senior Bronte will be so pleased that you made it. We are honored to be here. Ah, that's wonderful, wonderful. That. Come on, this way. Uh, with a beautiful evening it shall be. Mr. Brante is a very good friends with the mayor. Good evening, Pierre. Senor Napoli? As long as the mayor behaves himself, you know. Mr. Brante, he has a the thing, you know. A respect. Well, hey, Bill. You join the party. We'll meet you out back after we pay our respects to Senor Brante. Come, go. We'll meet okay. You when you're done. Sure. If I've not shot anybody before that. Where are we going? Brante. Is he out here? Mm hmm. <laughs> ah, the angry cowboys! You arrived! And you've washed for the prima volta questo mese senza dubbio. Oh, <laughs> this is quite a party you've invited us to. Yes, quite something. Although I'm not quite sure what. <laughs> so, this is Sandini High Society. Yes, apparently so. And all these people, these are friends of yours, <laughs> Senor Bronte? No, 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 not quite, not quite. But they certainly are afraid of me. Like that one. See that wretch? He's the mayor. <laughs> Henri Lemieux. <laughs> He'll do anything for a dollar, and I mean anything. Politics is a foul business. Yes. Oh, and that one too. That is Alberto Fusar. He owns a sugar plantation out on the island, and he comes here to whore and despoil himself. <laughs> Oh, oh, and that, that is Hobart Crowley, <laughs> a, a confederate major in the war, <laughs> and a hero, they say, but that this is his very young wife. I mean, a young mistress, that's the natural order of things, yes, but a young wife is unseemly. <laughs> oh, oh, the Redskins. <laughs> I have no sympathy for them, because whoever is stupid enough to get tricked by the Americans, no, <laughs> they get what they deserve, huh? <laughs> yes, and a letter to the mayor. Oh, yeah, that'll save you. <laughs> and that... That is Hector Fellows, this self-righteous newspaper man. Maybe, maybe you will kill him for me one day. <laughs> well, we're not paid killers as such, not in cold blood anyway. I did not know you were so particular that uh, you wouldn't help a friend. Oh, I'm willing to help in any way I can, uh, within reason. I'm going to pretend to understand what that means. I meant no offense, sir. None taken. None taken. <laughs> <laughs> 
these vulgar people. They hate me. <laughs> non vedo l'ora di guardarti morire. <laughs> well, uh, it has been wonderful conversing with you, but I can tell that you are very busy and I won't waste any more of your time. Yes, yes, yes. Go, enjoy yourselves and mingle with this vulgar scum. It'll make you long for the days when you could shoot each other and scoop cows out on the open range. <laughs> Those sure were the days. Good day, gentlemen. Mm, good day to you. But before you go, what uh, exactly are your plans here? Well, we've not made any... Well... We are going to need some money. Money... Yes, of course. But there's, there's money at the trolley station. They keep a lot of cash there in the day. Now, I could not involve myself in such uh, matters. But you... Pff, as a guest, yes. As my guest, bah, do it, huh? <laughs> okay, good day, gentlemen. Goodbye. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> okay, ragazzi, adesso il vino buono. I'll show you to the party, gentlemen, if you'll kindly follow me. Of course. Yeah. So he's closing all the doors. Let me see what's here. Okay. Gentlemen, enjoy your evening and welcome once again to Santa Maria. Ciao, ciao. Gentlemen, let's go ingratiate ourselves. Okay, I guess that's what we're doing. And steal nothing, of course. Of course. Get me a bloody drink, will you? A small one. Just big enough for me to swim the lengths in, you know? Yes, madam. <laughs> you know, I... Mingle with the guest. Okay, so that's what I'm doing. Outrageous! These dancers. Well, if that's French culture for you, sign me up for French lessons. Gentlemen, would you like tickets? What? This cabaret show at the Theatre Ramoua. It's jolly fun. Good evening. I do wish you'd hurry up and die. Mm. Tuberculosis is a strange disease. Gentlemen. Hello? Why am I not drinking the thing? Okay. It's a fact. Undeniable. Demonstrable. I will not deny it. Really is beautiful hair. I got it from Mr. Wasp. He's the finest milliner in the state and quite the most interesting purveyor of the exotic. But don't tell anyone, sir. The women here are all desperate to know. <laughs> I will not prove it by publicly thrashing. I wouldn't tell anyone. <sighs> so, who am I mingling with? Oh, okay, what the hell?
What a way to go, eh? Oh, thank you, sir. Oh, no problem. Yes. Thank you. So what am I doing actually? Okay, mingling with the guests is done. And then um, I'm headed here. It ain't complex, and you, and only an idiot like you, buddy, would try to make it so. I will not deny idiocy, so, but perhaps now is not the time. <laughs> Typical pansy. You are drunk, Ferdinand. <laughs> I'm not drunk, you fool. But this man, this man loves darkies. Hey, <laughs> you are pretty drunk. Yeah. Hey, I'll say you and me oh. too love. Me. Come on, sleep it off. Okay, why am I throwing him out? Just because he was telling the truth? Come on now, that's it. Don't make me hurt you. Sit down and calm down. Count to a thousand. Return to the mayor. Thank you, sir. My pleasure. Henri Le Mieux. I hope you're enjoying my party. The mayor. Allegedly. There's quite a place you got here. <laughs> it's not mine, and the city is horribly in debt, but we can still put on a good show. Do you know Evelyn Miller? My lord. Ryder? Well, we seem to have another deranged drunkard on our hands. Shall we? Hmm. Yep, my wife would have loved the fireworks. Excuse me, brother. Excuse me. Uh, Mr. Please. Mr. Cornwall was quite insistent, I'm afraid. Uh, he shouted down the telephone for several minutes. Mr. Cornwall is a horse's ass and a bad horse. I'm very sorry, sir. It's not your fault. I'm a fool for trusting him. I'll come inside in a minute. Let me enjoy the fireworks. Of course. Please say something about Cornwall. Yes. Find out what. Yep. Cornwall is the enemy. No problem. Look at that. Do I have to kill him? What do I have to do? Follow the servant and remain undetected. Okay. Everything's fine. We have the place well secured. Good. Mr. Bronte has a habit of wandering about and reading whatever he likes. <laughs> We're watching him and his men like hawks. Thank you, Mr. Turner. Okay. You go watch them. I go watch him. Hello. I remain undetected. Marie! Marie! Find that little reprobate chip and beat him! Oh, oh, Do not have standard slip in this house! Have you lost your mind? I said, have you lost your mind? Come here. Come here. Look at me. Look at me. Who do you think you are? This area is not meant for the likes of you. You know this. Standards in this house are slipping. This is a final warning to you, miss. A final warning. Now get out of my sight. 
I will have to kill you for this. Retrieve the letter from the desk. Where did he go? Oh, he went there. Okay, inspect. Mr. Levitic is gone. Top secret. Extremely confidential. Very interesting. Huh? Mm, what? Okay, I don't think there's time to read that. Return to dots. I think I can go the same way I came in. Yep, nobody's here, just get out here. Nope. Okay, that's going to be a problem. So I think I came from here then. Aha, yes. Return to Dutch. That's what I'm trying to do. Trying to return to Dutch. Can I go through here? Nope. Nope. Okay. Just a thought. And then where is Dutch? Dutch is up there. Salim. Hello? Hello, Dutch. Find anything? I think so. Nothing. This town is a waste of time. Maybe not. I think... Gentlemen, I think we're done here. We are done here. There's plenty of money moves through here, of course, and I, I think I found out how we can grab some of it. Big bank. Real one, I mean, but not yet. A city bank? Maybe. And a stuffed one. If we're gonna leave, that could be the one thing we need. There's mm -hmm. also that trolley car station Senor Bronte told us about, and I heard about a high stakes poker game. Come on. High stakes poker game. Here comes Lenny. All right, let's get in. <coughs> Go home. Hello, Lenny. I ain't never felt so awkward in all my life. All them folk all so pleased with themselves. Oh, high society's pigeon shit. If you ask me, it's more like torture. Well, that's sort of the point, isn't it? Let the people torture themselves. Here's them papers I took. <sighs> Let me see you take this. I don't think so. Hmm. I might have an idea. Let me think on it. What are we going against? Cornwall? 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 Tall corn? <laughs> Interesting times. I guess. So what's next? Dancing lessons? Deportment? More along the lines of armed robbery. Jose is handling reconnaissance on the bank. He and Abigail are gonna run some distractions. See how the law reacts. Good. Oh, 
And I spoke to Evelyn Miller. Fine man. Here helping the Indian chief we saw. Yeah, I met him too, with the mayor. He's lobbying officials in San Denis on their behalf. Maybe we could help. Maybe. Now, I think there's a lot of money on the riverboat. A lot of money. And Trelawney, he's investigating for us. He says to meet him at the tailors. Okay. One big score down here, Arthur, and we disappear. We are almost heading home. Where is home? I don't know. Exactly. But I can smell it. I'm gonna go investigate this trolley thing old Bronte was talking about. Okay. What you're smelling is BS. But okay. So, yep, gilded cage. The gilded cage is done and we've got gold for it. That's nice to see. So, while blah 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 and follow the servant without being detected. Very nice. So, yeah, that's how you do it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you like the content I'm creating. Please like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I post new videos every day. And if you made it this far, thank you so much. I will see you in the next one.